I was at a gas station a few months ago here in Hollywood, and I went up to put money into like the kiosk, like to feed cash into it. And the machine kept spitting my money back out, and it was taking a really long time. And so I turned to apologize to the person behind me for taking so long. And I turned and I saw that the person behind me was like the most beautiful hippie girl that I've like ever seen in my entire life. She had like these like hippie-ish like blonde dreads and this like sackcloth dress. And it looked like she had just like walked right out of the 60s. And before I can say anything or apologize, she goes, I swear to God, she goes, never trust machines, man. And I, I immediately wanted to be like, are you fiction? <laughs> but she wasn't. She wasn't fiction. She was real. And before I could say anything after that, she just goes, remember that Stephen King, Emilio Estevez movie from the 80s? And I was like, yeah, Maximum Overdrive. And she was like, yeah. Now, for those of you that have not seen Maximum Overdrive, Maximum Overdrive is this movie from the 80s written and directed by Stephen King. They never let him direct again because he's, all due respect, he's not very good at it. And in this movie, all of the machines come to life and the trucks take over. It's like Rise of the Planet of the Trucks. So like not only is she this like beautiful hippie girl, which like how did she get here to this gas station in LA in like 2012? Like does she even have a car? And I look over and I see that she does have a car and it's like, it looks like it used to belong to Brian Wilson, you know? But like she saw into my soul and saw that not only have I seen Maximum Overdrive, which I have, but that I would recognize it not even by the title, but simply by the name of the star and the writer-director. So what I should have said at that point was, will you marry me? I didn't, I didn't, I just, I just walked away. And I feel bad about it, I really do. Like I feel like I like, should have said something or made that connection, but I'm not too worried about it because I feel like I'll see her again, right? I don't mean like I'm gonna see her again like around, I mean, like, I'll see her again, like, when the trucks take over. Like, when the trucks take over, it'll just be me and her back to back with shotguns, and she'll be like, I fucking told you, never trust machines, man! And I'll be like, I know, babe, I love you! And we'll be, like, blowing up trucks and, like, leading the human, like, anti-truck resistance, and we'll, like, be so in love, and we'll, like, take up residence in, like, an old abandoned Denny's, and we'll, like, make love on the bare concrete floor lit only by a tuna can candle that she knows how to make, because, of course, she knows how to make candles, and it'll be so great, we'll be so in love, I can just, like, picture it, you know what I mean? Until she gets pregnant, and she has the baby, and we look at the baby, and the baby is half truck. And I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, I told you I was a free spirit, man. Which I guess it's sort of says a lot about my sexual fantasies that they involve A, the apocalypse, and B, my theoretical hippie girlfriend cheating on me with a truck. <laughs>